very much, and uh, let me thank everyone for coming, uh, and all of the uh, various interest groups uh, that have joined together collectively uh, to educate the public uh, about the need uh, for affordable health care. Um, this is an interesting process. Oftentimes in the legislature, uh, we want to know, so where's the bill? You know, what is the bill that you want me to support? Uh, either the bill in the state legislature or the bill in the Congress. Well, there is not a bill right now. What, what we're attempting to do is to educate the public, uh, to organize the people, uh, and then to mobilize them towards action. And so uh, this is the kind of initiative that I really enjoy because it's uh, an initiative that comes from the ground up uh, as opposed to from a legislator down to the people. Um, it's important for us to think about all of those who are suffering. Sometimes we can become numb, we can become anesthetized to the pain that people uh, are feeling. Uh, and so what I imagine right now are those, those people who are going into our emergency rooms. They're going into emergency rooms because they do not have uh, health care insurance. Uh, that cost is far greater than if they had a primary care provider. Um, and so we have more than uh, a million people in our state without health care insurance, 47 million uh, in America who do not have health care insurance, uh, and we sit and do nothing. And when I say we, I'm talking about elected officials who know better, uh, who have this information. Uh, and so the way in which elected officials respond uh, in a significant way uh, is when the people organize uh, and bring pressure. Uh, back to the old terminology we used to use, pressure groups. Uh, and so that's what we're attempting to do here today, is to organize in such a way that we bring pressure uh, on elected officials to respond. Our tolerance for suffering is simply too great. Our tolerance is too great uh, for the suffering, for the pain uh, that people are feeling, individuals, uh, their families and their children. And so I once again commend uh, the organizers uh, for this historic effort that's taking place throughout our country. Uh, and I look forward to working with them continually until we get the kind of action that the people of our state and our nation deserve. Thank you.